Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We are back for Farming Sim Chronicles Episode 7, where we will finish finally the 1300 acre corn harvest, and then we will move over to the 320 acres of buckwheat. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave a comment if you're enjoying this content. We truly appreciate your support. We do live stream daily on Twitch. You can find the link in my profile where we have multiple giveaways running currently, the big one being the Logitech Heavy Equipment Bundle, Steering Wheel, Pedals, Side Panel all included. It was a tough year for the farm in Morris, Manitoba. Not only did we have to deal with the challenges of a dry spring and uncooperative weather, but we also had to tend to my 200 pigs and 150 cows daily. This meant waking up early every morning to feed and care for them, and then rushing out to the fields to work on the crops. It was a constant balancing act, trying to make sure everything was running smoothly on the farm. The spring had been unseasonably dry, and we struggled to get my crops planted on time. We had to rely on irrigation to keep my corn and buckwheat alive, and even then, the yields were lower than I had hoped. To make matters worse, my equipment malfunctioned multiple times, causing additional delays and headaches. But despite all the problems, my team and I worked efficiently, and we were able to get all the harvesting done prior to winter, which was fast approaching. As the summer went on, I watched as the weather continued to be uncooperative. Drought conditions persisted, and my crops struggled to reach maturity. I knew I was in for a tough harvest when the time came, but we pressed on, determined to make the most of the situation. We began harvesting my corn in early September, and it quickly became clear that the yield was going to be well below average. We had to work long hours, often going into the fields at dawn, and working until well after dark. The buckwheat was even worse. The dry weather had taken its toll, and the yield was less than half of what I had expected. It was hard to watch all of our hard work go to waste, but I knew there was nothing I could do. And now, as we sit here on the last day of the harvest, we can finally say that it's all over. We've harvested 1,300 acres of corn and 320 acres of buckwheat, and my pigs and cows are all healthy and well-fed. Now we have to start preparing for next season. We will be planting three fields of canola, which will be approximately 1,200 acres in total. It's been a long and difficult journey, but I'm grateful to have made it through. Now, I can finally take a deep breath and start planning for next year, relieved that the harvest was completed before the winter. Thanks again for watching and look forward to seeing you in the next video.